Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dominions 5. We are about the God of Reward in the spring in the year 6 of the Ascension Wars. It's turn 73 and the war with the Vas is on. We have finished the research in Enchantment level 7 and we are now going into Alteration level 7. I don't recall why but because good spells are in those schools. And Vintage has cast King of Elemental Fire. We now have Puflogus. We have Heavenly Wrath. We have Cold Wraith Lord. We have the Dire Portent, Sist Dobernan, God of Avast, Master of Fires and Earth, Divine Architect, Prince of the, Run uh, the Hunt, has cast a global spell, and I don't know what that is. We'll have a look at that. Revive Whites, Firewater, Horror Specs, nothing new. Twice Born, nothing new. Horde from Hell, that should spawn a battle here, and we'll dispel. The disp dispelling of Ice of God was successful. And then Forgot About the Fire, Weakness has cast Earth Attack. Let's see what the result is here. It spawns this Earth Elemental and it'll attack this uh, Paramine Sacrosant Weaver, but they're very far apart. Holy Avenger, Horde of Skeletons, Horde of Skeletons. Can, he can trample and he has regeneration. Oh, but he's getting hurt faster. Oh, and there's an Incinerate. Ah, man. Damn. The Power Mount Sacrosound Weaver. Alright, he defeated an Earth Elemental. He does cost 430 gold. Alright. Curse of Blood. That was a battle in Flower Meadow Forest. So this is the Horde from Hell. Not a big horde. Probably not even a horde. But on the other side we have a little bit of province defense. So it doesn't really matter. We win. So we take a province just by casting a spell. No magic sites found. Then we have a few battles moving in here. We have taken control of the province of Scythia. This one here. There was no province defense on that. In Frostbart. I think that one's worth watching. No. <laughs> that would be a hard no. In Terim. The Ice Devil. Let's have a look at the Ice Devil. We already saw that he won. Oh, okay, but I script him to do quickness, liquid body, resist fire. As we're fighting a fire nation, then summon one water elemental to take the heat off of him, no pun intended. And then he should fly back to the back line and attack because he has uh, winged shoes on. In the spring spires, this is the throne province that we're trying to take. Now with uh, only a Wraith Lord. Uh, he should be able to survive the Springhawks and hopefully kill them this time. Oh, and Soul Vortex. We finally have Soul Vortex. Does that allow him to win the fight? Man, having that one spell is such a huge difference for the Wraith Lords, for sure. Like, he's not even damaged anymore, is he? Oh, a little. For some reason, he's not generate but as soon as the fleshy units move in look at that it's just healing that's so that's such bullshit man just wow is he gonna win here i think so you can do it counter wraith our first wraith lord Ah, we don't have to watch. In Spring Bias, Bias, our forces were beaten. Right. Who survives? They have four units remaining. One of which is the Wolf Tribe Shaman. Amazing. One in Keto Archer. Two living statues. Ha! Huh. But he retreats instead of dying. Okay. Funny. But that means we can take it easily next turn. In Okoja. We don't have to watch all the battles, I forgot. Uh, not this one either. In Aberfields, another Wraith Lord harassment. Harassment against Avas. Uh, in Hamane. Ooh, this is Bob, just killing some province defense. Unfortunately, not very interesting. Lennis. We have a group of just mundane troops moving up, but there they were only four units in province defense. In Silver Swamps, we take it with an Angel. 
in Ferran Mountains. Where is this? Ah, here. Right. They have quite a few units here. Grey Eagles. What are these? Hassad? Interesting. I don't know why they have this force parked out here in the middle of everything. I mean, it is the AI, but they could be blood hunting or some such. But he dies. Promptly. Kills one wolf. All right. In fair much as the name Griffa, Rayford harassing, harassing, raiding. In Sifika, we are raiding. And in the woodlands, we are raiding with a vampire lord and some devils. No province defense, almost. I mean, there were some, but really, really low province. So the, the, okay, let's have a look at that real quick. Global enchantment. He put up purgatory. Holy fire will strike undead creatures, undead enemy creatures in the guard dominion. Uh, but the more powerful the dominion, the more undead will be killed. This enchantment will last until so. That was a really good cast for him. Immediately, holy fire from a malicious pretender god has been striking our troops. Two units were wounded, one units were killed. Among the killed was two more the vampire lords. We lose a vampire lord. I mean, they are immortal, so he will come back. But this thing will kill uh, vampire lords just like that, that. And two units are wounded. So it's not a lot, but still, that's annoying. An unexpected event, and this is every turn, right? So we have to dispel that one. An unexpected event gives us gold, and we gain a skull mentor. Uh, Smeagol, the Angel of Fury, was suddenly attacked by a knight of the challenge. Just a single knight. A questing knight. Oh no. Um, fortification in Silver Swarm, Scythia, Woodlands. The fortification in Rimai has been breached. The final Atinium fortress is about to fall. We are storming with everything in here. Uh, we don't have to check our script on that one. I, I have confidence. Um, and fortification is difficult. We just started. Okay, lots of Raspard. We are sieging and sieging in Great Woods. Okay, but it's going pretty slow. Afflictions are cured. Patrolling troops have killed brigands everywhere. Uh, your troops in Vimai are starving. Oh, oh well. And we have two Wraith Orts returning. Now I think, yes, this is the turn. This is the Hobbit Blitzkrieg. Every single province that Avas owns is being attacked by something this turn. <laughs> I find that, I, I was like, can I do that? Yes, I can. Every single one. So here we just have... A lot, a lot of, we had a lot of troops on the borders that are moving in, So, and we have some Wraith Lords. We already had an Angel here, but he will be replaced by some Skeletor Spammers, and then he will fly on and take the Woodlands, because this one was left behind. It's just Devils in here right now, so they need a commander. We have Sots and a Wraith Lord moving in here, so a lot of, a lot of them will just be Angels clearing the province defense. They have three angels coming in. This one is a vampire lord. Here's a wraith lord. Here's a an angel taking this one. Erd is being taken by a wraith lord. Not a lot in the lost oil, but whatever. Kamel here, who took Sifogal, is moving on. And then we're moving Bob in with some units onto that. And Ruax here, who is carrying quite a few of the summoned units from Laurium. Sonria. It's being taken by the two Earth Kings of Earth, uh, Kings of Elemental Earth, jeez. And they're moving in here. An angel in there. A devil with a horde from hell here is moving in there. Did we put in promised defense? Yeah, put in 20 here. On top of this fort, the Dark Woods, which is moving three Wraith Lords in. And then we're taking this one here with. Mundane troops and two bird initiates. A Wraith Lord there, and we will try to siege down Scythia here, I think. The thing about having this these kinds of armies where every my chef is summoned units in the battle, 
that's good, but it, it's not good for sieging because it's just a little hobbit standing around and he's, he doesn't have any siege strength on his own almost. So yeah, and Avas is being taken by an angel. I think I covered all of them. So that's what, that's uh, that's how it's gonna go. Hobbit Blitzkrieg. I hope uh, Mr. Shenton found this interesting at least. We'll see how next turn, just how many of these territories are uh, taken. Uh, I think some of the armies moved, like this army here was up here last turn, so some of his armies are moving around. He's on the move. And yeah, we're just moving, like I'm spending all my gold every turn to just build as many troops, uh, some, as much siege chaff as we can to move it in uh, towards Avas, and then I'm using all of my uh, time on just moving troops towards the, uh, the front line with different commanders. I think this one here is producing a captain every turn that is then riding out or sneaking out into a territory to key, to pick up uh, units, basically. So yeah, for spells, we can definitely check in here. Oh, I don't, I'm not dispelling the global purgatory enchantment here yet, apparently. Aha, uh -huh. that is not too smart. I think we'll do that next turn then. A wild water in there, girdle of might. Still you making uh, items every turn with all my hammers, uh, elixir of life. Vine shield, nothing there. Allies, well, you should be in summon allies, that's too bad. Maybe I was trying to breach a specific uh, level in here, I don't know. Alteration seven, we're going all the way up to alteration nine now. Curse of blood here, and the, like, we might lose the uh, vampire lords, if they fly in because they are undead and they'll be burned by the purgatory, same with the wraith lords, but they come back, you know, and they, they're not guaranteed to die from that thing, so it's not the end of the world. Another skull staff being forged. In Laria, we are doing summon fire snakes, wraith lord. Uh, Puri Flocus is moving out. Chamul, the new guys as well. Forge the summit. So we're making a legendary weapon here, and we're reviving whites, casting heavenly wrath every time. So I opted to do another angel instead of dispelling the purgatory thing. Not sure I like that decision in hindsight. Axe of sharpness. Skull staff, I already covered that one. All right. And here we have Spiegel. <clears throat> patrolling and waiting around for the afflictions to go away uh, along with Mary Dark. Insert Hobbit name here was uh, waiting for the same, but it has been cured, so now he will fly out. So we are finally getting some of our angels healed up a bit. The storms at Castle here. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know why we are going through it so fast all of a sudden. Maybe I'm missing some things. But next turn should be interesting, at least with this little uh, blitz that I'm doing here. We'll see how many of the provinces are left standing in Avas hands after the turn. Uh, and for sure, of course, the forts, we won't take any forts this way. I'm just taking these two forts at the moment. Uh, and of course, um, Rimire. We're not making, oh, we are moving in Balthasar and Gunthermund here to just skeleton spam the, the rest of the province to to victory and then we will have another throne once we have that throne let's have a look at that uh, it's the silver throne for sure so that will put us at four thrones out of six which means that we need to take two we are seating down great woods already and we'll be starting to siege taban tapahete uh, Iolia is here and we're also sieging in the woodlands and we'll double down on that one too so we just need to claim two out of those four and then we win right um, yeah 
No messages being sent. I don't know. Don't remember if I send any. I hope I already showed this graph. I think I did when I cast a spell that could. Akashic. Not Akashic Knowledge. The other one. Akashic Records. Uh, but we can see the provinces is going up and forts is going up. Income is still rising. Nothing too surprising here. Everything is rising. He might have met us in research. Dominion. Wow, that is a uh, steep, steep increase. And army size keeps going up. Ascension points also rose recently. That's it for this episode. We'll keep going in this way till we get through the campaign. And something, uh, some, some interesting fights will occur with Avas. I guarantee you. So we are holding out for that. See you in the next one, guys. And I hope you're enjoying. Bye bye.